Before we do the Guta conversation, there is a conversation that, again, I really do not understand how we want to deal with this. A lot of people have come out to express displeasure about this situation. Question is that when we started off this fight some years back and we stopped, why did we stop? And why did we decide to continue? I'm talking about the illegal mining. Everyone, everyone, all stakeholders, Ghana Water Company Limited, has warned us that very soon, if we do not stop these practices, we might have to import water, of which we are doing already. And so for some people, uh, the, some companies say they don't drink our kind of water, so they ought to have to bring their own water in for the hotels, the big hotels, because their clients want to drink water from their country. That's absurd. We can talk about that later, no matter how you see it. We can talk about that later. But the real issues are that the water bodies where we tap our water from, we, we get it so that Ghana Water Company Limited can treat it for us to drink. They do not come from, like, when you are going out and water follows, you know. They are from these water bodies that we are destroying. Already, we do not have a lot of people who have portable drinking water. In many communities, we have to dig borehole for them. And they get excited and they have, uh, you know, celebration around the borehole when we drill it for them. In 21st century Ghana. Yet, the little we have, we have decided to destroy. Ghana Water Company Limited has spoken largely about it. Ghana Medical Association has issued a statement. All stakeholders in the, uh, if you like, uh, our forestry uh, issues or the ecosystem have warned us. It even took Leonardo DiCaprio, you know Leonardo DiCaprio, okay, the actor, uh, for those of you who have watched Titanic before, the man is an environmentalist. He had to warn us a, a bauxite in the Tiwa forest. Everyone has warned us. Yet, we, the understanding is that we are not perturbed. Now, I'm going to show you a video. This video tells us what exactly these galamsiers do, that those who claim that they know how to mine and for gold. So this is the video. The video, after the video, you get to, I'll, I'll get to explain what exactly happens and then the results. I'll show it to you. Take a watch. Coco be a year to be an or one at all, Nadia. Coco for be a doa and your cocoa rather to have a day. Every cocoa farm we work on is being sold by the owner. We don't use force to take anyone's farmland. We just do everything possible to convince the owner to sell the farmland by giving him more money if we realize there is gold there. We sometimes go the extra mile to get the land by diverting a water body to destroy the farm. This is a one acre, the tunnel, 10,000. Better like a seven mile, one acre, 50,000. Now we have blah over there now. Now we want to be sell our own year. Yet we go to the edge of the house, and then we will be able to go to the house. Now we will be able to go to the house. So, according to this burger speaking, no, when they come to your farm and they are trying to cajole you to take the money and you refuse, what they will do is to go divert the water to your farm where you cannot use the land, and so you are coerced to them take whatever their offer is, and they take over your land. It's happening here in Ghana. Or maybe I'm the one who didn't understand that. And that's a video not from us, so it's from TV3. It's out there. It's all over the place. All right? It's, it's all over the place. Now, I'll show you the results. What could be maybe the results of what this man just said? So remember, the man said they will come, they would have to speak to you uh, if you will not take the, the, the 10,000, 50,000 
uh, what they'll do is that they'll go divert the water. It takes your farm. You have nothing to do. And then uh, you leave the farm for them. I said it's happening here in Ghana. Could this other video be the reason, uh, the result of this action, of this? I'll reserve my, my words. Watch this other video. Now, <laughs> Coco, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Lucky dear, one more yarn and they are the only one in Andra. Coco in a massia. Cocoa, if she have fast, I say Coco, no, a co a cabasa at your kit. You do not have to understand the Akan language, of course, to, to understand what is happening there. So, whatever the man has said in the previous video, could this be the result that? He is not allowing for his, you know, land to be taken over. And so the water has been diverted. Could this be the result? My question is, forget about the politics around it. I'm not interested in it at all. Nobody pays him to come here to the politics. My point is that, why do we sit down and get to this point? So there's a war against ourselves. So we are warring against ourselves. So how much? He, you may, you heard the, the, the mention of the acres of land that water has taken off completely. Acres of the, the investment into the cocoa land, the farm itself, the inheritance, first of all, how much you invested beyond all of this, what you would want to live on. Somebody decides that he's a bugger. He wants to do gold. So to hell with anybody in this country. Our authorities are manning the lands with guns. Well, 